children welcome to science lesson 1 unit 1.2 your skeleton class grade 3 time 45 minutes book students book page 4 and 5 workbook page number 3 and 4 your skeleton objectives know that humans and some animals have bony skeletons inside their bodies know that skeletons grow as humans grow support and protect the body so the types of joints there are three main types of joint found in the body fibrous or immovable joint the bones at an immovable joint cannot move they overlap or interlock and are held together by a tough fiber example the skull children the skull is an example for fibrous or immovable joints that means we cannot move then second one cartilaginous or slightly movable joints the bones at a slightly movable joint can only move a little they are held together by strong straps called ligaments and are joined by protective pads known as cartilage example the ribs children the ribs comes under slightly movable joints that means you can move only little third one synovial joint or freely movable at a freely movable joint the bones move freely they are also known as synovial joints and are the largest group of joints found in the body you can see synovial joint or freely movable joints in the hips shoulders and knees student this is from your student book page number 4 first one is skull it comes under fixed joint then ball and socket joint is we can see in the shoulder it comes under freely movable joint then vertebrae sternum rib radius ulna humerus pelvis hinge joint femur fibula tibia so children you have to learn all these names Do you know the names of any of the bones in your body? Show them to your partner and say their names. You can tell any names in your body. There are 206 bones in a human skeleton. The bones in our skeletons are connected to each other at joints. So children we already learned about joints. What is joints? The place where two bones join is called as joints second one this is from your student book page number 4 find three joints on the skeleton in what way does each joint allow you to move your body so children what are the three joints so you can write examples of joints are elbow knee hip shoulder fingers wrist and so on in what way does each joint allow you to move your body each joint allows a person to move children this is from your student book page number 5 here you can see the two pictures what is the difference between these two pictures yes first picture is from the museum you know children bones in museum and the bones of dead animals in the environment are dry and they crumble easily second one is living bones living bones are not dry and are very strong summary humans have bony skeletons inside their bodies skeletons are made of different kinds of bones connected to each other at joints next one is from your workbook page number 3 smart lab activity yes first one skull hip bone here you can see hip bone this one skull forearm shin bone knee cap spine shoulder blade 
वर्क बुक पेज नंबर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वाट थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट जॉब डस योर स्केल्टन जो सो चिल्ड्रन वाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द स्केल्टन योर स्केल्टन हेल्प यू टू मूव एंड सपोर्ट योर बॉडी एज वेल एज प्रोटेक्टिंग द सॉफ्ट पार्ट इन साइड योर बॉडी वाट डू यू कॉल द प्लेस वर्ड टू बॉन्ड्स कनेक्ट जॉइंट So joint is the place where two bonds connect. This is from your school workbook, page number four. Draw lines from column A to column B to show which bonds are connected to each other. So students, here you can see column A and column B in your workbook, page number four. So I'll show you how to do this one. First one is wrist. Wrist you can match with finger bonds. Second one, thigh. Thigh you can match with knee cap. Third one is skull. Skull you can match with jaw bone. Foot. You can match with toe bones. Ankle. Ankle you can match with foot. Sixth one, wrist bones. You can match with hand. Then seventh one, shoulder blade. Shoulder blade you can match with upper arm bones and backbone. Backbone ribs. Then next one is. Fill in the blanks from your chapter. Your skeleton. Bones are hard and strong, and they form a rigid frame inside your body. This frame of bones is called a skeleton. Your skeleton helps you to move and support your body as well as. Protecting the soft part inside your body. Children, I hope you understood this lesson. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day.